So, today's the day the fish arrived, so that's going to be exciting. I um, just wanted to mention though that uh, what's been interesting for me is I've been running the system for two and a half months with uh, no fish, um, and so I've just been feeding it uh, powdered ammonia about a half a teaspoon every two days, um, and that's produced uh, the nitrates necessary for the plants to grow, um, and I've also been um, a little more disciplined about adding minerals um, because I didn't do this with my old system uh, very well back in Chicago and the, the plants uh, didn't do too well after a while. Um, so every two weeks I've been adding some uh, DTPA chelated iron, about two teaspoons full, and then to uh, keep the pH up um, because with uh, adding all that ammonia um, the pH uh, pulls down pretty hard to uh, as low as 6, sometimes even lower. Um, so I've been alternating every few days um, between uh, potassium, I'd say about a tablespoon of potassium bicarbonate um, versus, uh, and, and then alternating with a teaspoon of calcium hydroxide, um, which is normally very, very strong. Um, alkaline agent, but um, it's been sitting around for a while, so it's lost some of its potency, so um, I don't know, maybe I need to buy some new. Um, but at any rate, uh, this seems to be doing well by the plants. Um, they're, they're still not perfect. I still get some leaf curling, um, so um, perhaps I, I need some magnesium. Um, so I still have more to learn about um, balancing the, the plant nutrients. Um, you know, now that I'm going to be using regular fish feed, uh, probably Aquamax, um, I might have less of an issue because um, that sort of naturally uh, supplies various minerals, um, but we'll see. All right, well, after two and a half months since I first started plumbing my system together, I finally got fish, so I'm pretty excited. Um, just ordered uh, a week ago. Um, 50 male tilapia from a place called Green Hill Gardens in Eugene, Oregon, um, and they came in a box. And they were all alive, packed with oxygen, and I got them in the tank. So, pretty excited about that. They're probably like about three quarters of an inch, so they're kind of tiny, um, but they seem pretty happy. I let them settle in for a while before I start trying to feed them. They're just kind of swimming around exploring the tank. Actually a top view is pretty good. You can see them sort of circulating around the tank. They like it over there by the, the water heaters. <laughs> They also seem to like swimming into any kind of current that gets created. And uh, let's see what else. Um, I finally got a second grow light in, uh, sprung for a black dog LED fixture. I figure after a couple of years of use, uh, it'll pay off the cost of, uh, of it by not having to replace fluorescent bulbs every nine months. Um, so things are going pretty well here. Uh, transplanted a couple of basil plants and have a little uh, duckweed growing in the corner there. And uh, just a few assorted things planted. Uh, the light it throws off is, it makes it kind of hard to, to see the plants well, which I guess means they're absorbing the light. Um, we have a little seedling tray over here and uh, actually went through a whole round of plants here without fish and already harvested a bunch and I'm starting some new ones over here. And uh, I'm just excited to get the fish and they seem, they seem happy, didn't have any problem with the transition in temperature or pH. Uh, I guess uh, flappy are pretty hardy that way. 
Um, so what comes next for me is uh, in two weeks the Aquaponics Association is having uh, their national tour de tanks day, or actually several days. Um, so I'll be I've signed up for the uh, 17th and 18th of May to uh, tour my system for people. Um, so hopefully I'll get get into some good conversations and learn a few things. Um, I'm, Good timing because I think my system's pretty much built out uh, all the way. Um, I'd say the, the only thing I'm really missing is uh, I'd like to put in a radial flow filter there for solids. Um, the fish are very small right now, so it's not a problem. But I think I'm I'm going to wind up basically <clears throat> getting solids dumped into the sump tank, and they eventually clog up the uh, pump filters, and then you wind up having to clean the filters all the time um, and I'd just rather have the sort of the hard solids uh, settle into something else and then I can put them out in the garden. Um, and the last bit of work I did was uh, build this um, panel on the concrete wall here um, for electrical and I'm also going to put some uh, plumbing fixtures on there to have access to uh, um, house water as well as rainwater. Um, as needed because I'm getting a little tired of uh, running a hose through the window there every time I need to add water.